welcome back to another vlog. We are up early to, well I'm always up early. We are going to get coffee flights. Just like a bunch of different, I mean I'm sure you know what like a sangria flight is or those types of things. It's the same idea. It's a bunch of different fall coffee flavors from this place in Lake Mary. It's like 30 minutes away which is kind of far. It sucks that it's so far, but I'm so excited. I think the flavors are, there's tons of different flavors. I think that's what it would be. Oh, now the lighting is fantastic. The flavors are pumpkin pie, butterscotch, maple cinnamon, and caramel apple. And I'm so excited. It looks like this. So this is what it looks like. We have to take the highway to get there. It's 9.49, so we should be there in the next 20 minutes. Scotch. Maple cinnamon. And then caramel apple. Ew. That tastes like that Starbucks drink that I tried and I hated. I think I like the butterscotch the best. Alright. My turn. Okay. What is this? Butterscotch. A butterscotch, which is my favorite. It's good. It's my favorite so far. The maple cinnamon isn't bad. But you're gonna hate the caramel apple. Caramel apple. You like that one? Yep. Really? This My two one? favorite are the butterscotch and the caramel apple. The caramel apple is my least this favorite. This is the least favorite. No, mine, this reminded me of that Starbucks drink that I had and I hated. I like the pumpkin pie one the most though. taken off the ends which was really needed it's still long though so which is good which is what I want I hate cutting my hair it's like my hair is my security blanket I don't like to cut it, it makes me want to shed a tear sometimes um, but it was needed anyways so that's where I was from 12 to like 3 45 basically four hours and I'm going over speed bumps I'm sorry but then I went to Whole Foods and um, was originally going there for some nut pods creamer there's a backstory behind this the reason why I got this creamer and I'm so sorry about the road it's bumpy and there's speed bumps and whatnot but there's a little backstory behind this creamer and I'll explain <laughs> what the backstory is but I also got some sushi as like a late lunch. Anyways, my hair looks good. I got a full head of baby lights this time. And then the next time I go, I'll get a partial. And then I get a root tap, tone, um, money piece in the front. And this road, I'm so sorry. Okay, I just got home from the hair salon. And I went to Whole Foods after, as you saw. And I mainly went there to get 
this creamer. I got two of them because they were on sale where there was like a deal of some sort. But I'll explain that later. Also picked up more Olipop. Got another vintage cola and I posted this on my story last weekend. And one of you guys commented and said that I should try the root beer one. So I got one of those as well. And then I got some sushi. Whole Foods has really good sushi if you haven't tried it. Just got some for a late lunch. And we got, Christian got spicy tuna avocado and spicy California roll. And then I got a shrimp tempura roll. So the story behind toasted marshmallow nut pod creamer is that I was going down a rabbit hole yesterday at on my lunch break at work and I was just looking up all of the flavors of nut pods because I know that there were well I knew that there were a bunch of nut pods flavors and I kind of wanted to try something other than the generic hazelnut french vanilla caramel and I already have the cinnamon swirl so I discovered toasted marshmallow creamer which looks like this and so i found it on amazon and yesterday i rush shipped it to get it here between 2 and 6 p.m so this was like around like one o'clock so i placed the order so that way it would arrive yesterday between 2 and 6 p.m it was like 5 55 and there was still two stops that the Amazon driver had to make before he delivered it. And then it said that there, I was tracking him the whole entire way up from nine stops down to two. And I was like, oh, he's gonna be late, but that's okay. I didn't care. As long as it was arriving yesterday, I did not care. And so I was waiting on him, tracking him, and then it said, we're sorry, your order is arriving late. Please contact Amazon for the next step. And I was like, well, does this mean it's not getting delivered? So I was on the phone with them and they said that it was going to be delivered by 8 p.m. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't really care. And then it was never delivered and canceled in the middle of the night because it said that it just couldn't be delivered. So I was really bummed. And then I was looking up online while I was getting my hair done to see if the Whole Foods had this in stock. And the Whole Foods is right next to my hair salon. So I went there and I picked it up because I wanted to try it. I wanna try new creamers and there's tons of different ones that they have. I wanted to try like a cookie butter one or like a brown sugar cookie or something like that, but it has sugar alcohols, so I didn't wanna drink that one, but this one doesn't. So I'm excited to try. I'll try it tomorrow morning with my coffee and I'll let you guys know if it's good, but that was the story behind the toasted marshmallow creamer and why I had to have it because I wanted it yesterday but didn't get it. So I'll let you know if it's good. Put it in the fridge with my other creamers. We'll try it tomorrow. You want to try the root beer? Oh, I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one really tastes like root beer. You know it does. It has that same flavor. This one tastes more like root beer than this one tastes like Coke. Pretty Just close. like it. Pretty close. What do you rate it? Since you rated this one a 6.5? I think a 6.3, so I rate the root beer a 7.6. Not everything gets a 9 or a 10 out of 10. You give everything so good. 10 out of 10. I know. I know. I'm, I'm either one extreme or the other. Like I either rate it 0 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. There's never a middle of the road. I'm filming an Amazon favorites. I think next weekend I'll do it. I don't Today's my dad's birthday and we're meeting with my family or getting together with my family tomorrow. So I don't really think I'll have time to film it tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna film it next weekend, but I have tons of Amazon favorites. 
and I wanted to share them. So I just got a restock of a bunch of them right now, today. So I'm excited to film that for you guys. It's just gonna be a range of things that I have and I love and that I've purchased over the course of like, I guess maybe I've repurchased for like a year. So I'll film that next weekend and then it'll be up in the next few weeks. Okay, we are actually going on a date night, which we haven't done in a little while. So it'll be nice. It will be really nice. We're going to a place that I think we've we've both never been to. It's called Enzo's on the Lake. It's far again, <laughs> just like the coffee shop that was 30 minutes away. It's about 30 minutes away. So um, we're doing that. It's Italian. We both we haven't been to dinner together, like on a date night in a long time. So I'm excited and we're going to a place that we've never been to. So I'm excited for that as well. And I'm just gonna, I already have makeup on, so I don't need to apply it. But, and I think I'm gonna wear a dress because I was, <laughs> do you guys see this too? where you look at the place that you're going to before you go and you look at the location that people tag for the restaurant and you see what everyone's wearing there if you've never been because i do that <laughs> so that way i know what to wear because yeah you can kind of like judge it by the food but at the same time I like to see what everyone's wearing. So I go to Instagram and I look at the location and see what everyone's wearing. And everyone is dressed up. So I'm gonna wear probably a dress, but I'll show you guys and I'll let you know if it's good if you live in Orlando. We'll do a little one -ish. So I have this dress from Pretty Little Thing that I actually got for California and I never ended up wearing it. I got a bunch of dresses from Pretty Little Thing that I never ended up wearing when we went to California. So I just have them in my closet waiting to be worn. But this is what it looks like. It kind of has like fabric right here. I don't know how to wear this. It kind of hangs weird on me, I feel. It's patterned like this has a extra fabric in different places, ties up the side. So you can make it longer and shorter. This is the back. Figured I'd wear it because I haven't worn it yet and I don't really have any other place to wear it. pick this up that's where we had dinner we usually have a oh a bar cute
went to the grocery store and vlog, but yesterday was my dad's 79th birthday. So we're getting together today, all of us. But I went into Target and I got another one of these baskets. Oh, my closet is a mess. I don't want to show you. I mean, okay, it's not that bad, but there's just shoes everywhere. But I got this basket because I keep all of my clothes in the baskets. And my sweatpants basket is getting really full. So I'm cramming sweatpants in there. So I just want to put the rest of the sweatpants in here. Probably do that when I get back home. Oh my god. I know. 59 years old. Happy birthday to you. I just put the sweatshirt that I slept in back on because why not? I literally just slept in it instead of pulling out a brand new one to wear. Organizing. I'm always like trying to organize everything. I feel like every vlog I'm like, let me organize this. <laughs> We got Chipotle for dinner. I added Greek yogurt on top to kind of mimic sour cream. But I wanna know, do you mix up your Chipotle bowl or do you eat it from side to side? Because I eat it from side to side and Christian <laughs> mixes his up. So let me know in the comments down below if you eat it from side to side or you mix it. Because I feel like I don't know that many people that eat it from side to side. So let me know. 